It is the most exciting search of our time. Are we on the verge of discovering a new planet in our solar system? If Planet 9 really is out there somewhere, it should be visible soon. The new Verisi Rubin Observatory should finally bring clarity. If we have a ninth planet in the system, this discovery would change everything, and we would have to reckon with the fact that there are many more things hidden behind Pluto that we have overlooked so far. Since the beginning of the new century, a whole new era of exploration of our solar system has begun. It began with the discovery of the Kuiper Belt, and with it, many new objects suddenly appeared. You could say that a completely new world opened up for scientists in one fell swoop, one that nobody had expected. The existence of a high-mass zone behind Neptune had already been suspected in the 1960s, but it had not been proven. Only improved technologies made this possible. Since 2016, researchers have known about many small planets in the Kuiper Belt, and they show a special feature. Their orbits around the Sun are concentrated in such a way that researchers suspected that another large planet could be hiding here many billions of kilometers away from the Sun and in complete darkness. Planet 9 is estimated to be about six times the mass of the Earth and could have an orbital period of about 7,400 years. Slowly, it could be moving from the furthest point of its orbit towards the interior of the solar system. That means, if it exists, we would soon get to see Planet 9. Why is the search so difficult? Did you know that Neptune and Pluto were discovered in exactly the same way? It was the orbital anomalies of Uranus that led researchers to suspect the existence of another planet. Neptune appeared first, followed by the smaller Pluto at the beginning of the 20th century. Then there was a long silence and researchers thought they now knew all the planets in the solar system. But no such luck. Since the beginning of the new millennium, we know of many small planets at the outermost edge of the solar system, and there may be more. Although this region is now accessible to us, it's not so easy to explore. It's simply too dark so far from the sun. Researchers are guided more by vague cues and only sporadically recognize the objects against the light of the Milky Way. Planet 9 has so far been shrouded in extreme darkness on its orbit. Its path will probably take it thousands of years far beyond the boundaries of the Kuiper Belt. This is unusual for a planet, but not impossible. The space we are talking about here is also so vast that the search is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Sedna, the Divine Traitor As we all know, our heaven is full of gods and goddesses. In 2003, Sedna joined this select group of planets. The discovery of the trans-Neptunian object was a major event in recent astronomy and played a decisive role in the theory of a ninth planet in the solar system. Sedna was discovered on November 14, 2003 by a team led by passionate Kuiper Belt researcher Mike Brown. He and his colleagues, Chad Trujillo and David Rabinowitz, had been scanning the remote region of the solar system for months using the Palomar Observatory in California. The discovery of Sedna was a direct hit. This small planet measures almost 1,800 kilometers in diameter and is therefore only a little smaller than Pluto or Eris. The new dwarf planet was named after the Inuit sea goddess. Sedna has an extremely long and elliptical orbit, which takes it from around 76 astronomical units from the Sun to around 937 AU. One astronomical unit corresponds to the average distance between the Earth and the Sun, which is around 150 million kilometers. Sedna thus needs around 11,400 years to orbit the Sun once. This unusual orbit has fascinated astronomers and raised questions ever since its discovery. Its orbit is much further away than that of most known Kuiper Belt objects, and, unlike many other trans-Neptunian objects, Sedna does not appear to be influenced by the gravitational forces of the large planets such as Neptune. From Sedna's conspicuous orbit, Brown and his team concluded that the dwarf planet may be stabilized by the mass of a much larger object. Simulations also showed interesting gravitational perturbations of other smaller trans-Neptunian objects, and these anomalies also suggest the gravitational effect of a large, unknown planet in the outer solar system. The researchers carried out more and more computer simulations, which always led to the same conclusion. The presence of a massive planet with about 10 times the mass of the Earth in a highly inclined orbit around the Sun. The sacred sea goddess Sedna was thus something like the key to these findings, 
And to this day, Mike Brown and his team have continued to press ahead with the search for the mysterious object. How can Planet Nine be discovered? Here's an interesting fact that may be new to you. Two new super telescopes will soon be launched and then Mike Brown and his fellow researchers hope to finally find the ninth planet. We're already excited about the fantastic possibilities of the James Webb Telescope. But wait until the new Verisi Rubin starts its work. Then our view of the universe and our own solar system could change completely once again. The Webb Telescope has not yet been able to see Planet 9 directly due to certain limitations in the color infrared range. The technology was actually designed more for aiming at extremely distant targets. Even if Planet 9 is far away for us, it's still on our cosmic doorstep. When the Vera C. Rubin Observatory is launched, things will look very different. This observatory will scan the sky faster than any other telescope. The rapid scans should allow us to notice even more small changes, possibly bringing us a little closer to Planet 9. Researchers are currently trying to track down the mysterious planet using a technique called tidal heating. Researchers are investigating moons that are heated by the tidal forces and are therefore easier to detect. The question is whether we can also track down Planet 9 in this way. Other researchers have also come up with something clever. They are observing the orbits of interstellar objects that could show possible influences from Planet 9. These are asteroids and comets, for example. Or could a probe mission to Uranus be the solution? No probe has visited the ice giant since the Voyager mission. It would be about time, and some researchers are of the opinion that precise measurements in the vicinity of Uranus also allow conclusions to be drawn about Planet 9 or the orbital anomalies of the trans-Neptunian objects. Is Planet 9 really a black hole? Hold on tight, because it's about to get spooky. There is a theory that Planet 9 does not exist. The orbital anomalies of TNOs could also be caused by other objects, and the scariest of these is a black hole. The idea of a primordial black hole hiding in the outer reaches of our solar system sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but this theory is being seriously considered by some scientists. A primordial black hole is a theoretical object that could have been created in the first few seconds after the Big Bang. Unlike the more familiar black holes that form from collapsing stars, these primordial black holes would have been created by extreme density differences in the early universe. A black hole the size of Planet 9 would be tiny in diameter compared to other black holes, possibly measuring only a few centimeters, but it would have the mass of an entire planet. This size and high density mean that it would be extremely difficult to detect as it emits no light. The gravitational pull of such a strange object would be strong enough to affect the orbits of trans-Neptunian objects. Of course, the effect of such a black hole on our solar system would also be uncanny. If it were to start wandering through the solar system, we wouldn't know what it could do. Scientists are searching for the black hole with the help of gravitational lensing effects. The light from stars behind it is deflected by the gravitational force of the black hole. Another method looks for tiny flares or signs that such a black hole is tearing apart objects such as rocks or comets due to its enormous gravitational force. Planet Nine, Truth and Fiction. When you hear the term Planet Nine, do you also think of other terms such as Planet X, Planet 10, or Nibiru? That's quite normal because these ideas overlap. Some of them can be explained in very real terms Others are fictions or legends. There have always been hypotheses about other planets in our solar system, and so the outer planets were also gradually discovered. Researchers have been looking for Planet 9 since 2016, and, as we have seen, for good reasons. Towards the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th, scientists searched for a Planet X, which eventually became the ninth planet, Pluto. Since 2006, Pluto is no longer one of the major planets, but only a dwarf planet. This left us with only eight planets in the solar system, and the search for Planet 9 began in a new form. Nibiru is an alleged planet that is often referred to in parascientific and esoteric circles as a destroyer planet. If it appears every few thousand years, it's said to have an impact on the Earth, bringing catastrophes and wars. This theory was spread by science fiction author Zechariah Sitchin, among others, who claimed that ancient Sumerian texts pointed to such a planet. However, 
Scientists have refuted these claims several times, and there is no evidence for the existence of such a planet or its dangerous approach to Earth. However, the connection that this planet is only supposed to appear every 3,600 years is interesting. This could strangely correspond to the approach of Planet 9 to the Sun. Now, of course, we can ask ourselves how Sumerians would have known about such a planet if we can't see it with our high-powered telescopes. The answer to this question is truly written in the stars. What is strange is the fact that the Sumerians depicted stars and planets on their cuneiform tablets and were astonishingly accurate in depicting planets that were supposedly only discovered in modern times. It's always a wonder how ancient civilizations knew about planets that they could not have seen by technological standards. But it's also a wonder how people were able to build Stonehenge or move the largest stone blocks in the world in Baalbek in Lebanon. If we look with an open mind at the many unanswered questions of human history, we have to admit that we simply cannot know what and if the Sumerians knew about a dark planet at the outer edge of the solar system. Become a subscriber now. There are many more exciting videos to come.